What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lemon. I'm back with an update for you guys. Um, there's not a whole lot has changed in the 75 gallon reef. Um, I haven't tested in about five, maybe seven days, maybe a week. Um, and when I say tested, talking about my uh, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium. Um, but everything seems to be doing well for the most part. I mean, I have a couple SPS that are, aren't doing the best. Um, one of them being a little like green greens bird's nest. It's doing fine, but there's a little tip on it that for whatever reason started growing some algae on it. So I need to take care of that. Um, I have a plating Mon Montipora that's not doing the best either. It's got like a little hole in the middle of it now, but on the flip side, I have two other Montiporas that are doing good. So I don't know what the, what the difference is between those, but everything seems to be doing good. Um, my hammer to the left side of the tank and my frog spawn on the right side of the tank, they're both doing well. Um, yeah, man, my, uh, my, my pallies and zoas are all doing good. I had some bryopsis that I brought over from the old tank, which I got rid of the majority of it. I do see one rock in here that still has some on it that I think I'm, it's got a couple pallies on it. Um, I think I might just try and frag those pallies off and get the rock out of there because that, you know, I have a couple rocks in here that I've, and I've, uh, you know, toothbrushed off trying to get everything off and it'll be good for, you know, a week or so and then it'll go and then it'll slightly come back. Um, as far as aggression between the fish uh, with the six line um, and the pseudochromus, pseudochromus seems to be still being a dick. Um, but the six line doesn't seem to care anymore. He'll go all through his territory and just swim away and run when he, when he gets aggressive. Um, the pseudochromus doesn't mess with my yellow watchman goby anymore because my yellow watchman will stand up to him um, and you know be ready to fight. So th it's good to see kind of everything slowly calming down. Um, and you know my, my six line is all over the place. Um, one thing I did think that was really cool that I've never seen before. Obviously you see like uh, like shrimp molt, which mine just did like uh, two weeks ago, but my actual, uh, my emerald crab molted, um, which I thought that was really neat. I didn't know they did that. I assumed they did it, but I've never seen it, I've seen it. Um, so it actually molted, I got that thing out, but that was really cool. Um, but I do have something to show you guys. Um, give me a couple minutes to set up this tripod and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and just wanted to show you what I got going on. If you can see him swimming around down there, this is Luke. He is a small powder blue tang. Um, I surprisingly got him at Petco. And the reason I bought him there was because um, I got a good deal on him in the first place. Second part was they had 20% off. And then I also had a $5 coupon. Um, so he did have a little bit of ick and I came home and I had this sponge filter, which is not running now, I put a hang on the back in there, but I just set up this 10 gallon quarantine the day I bought it because I had the sponge filter in my sump for like three weeks. Um, so I bought him, brought him home, he wasn't eating for the first two days, um, but now he's accepting frozen and it seems like the, the little uh, nori is being nipped at. I'm not sure, I change it all the time, but I don't know if it's just getting soggy and going away. You know floating around and getting sucked into the the filter or if he's actually eating it um he did have some signs of ick so i actually got in today i don't know if you guys could see it but i got a little bottle of coopermine um i added 16 drops um because i watched uh scott from my hot reefs video the the back of the bottle says 20 drops for, per 10.5 gallons scott says 16 so i just went with 16 uh, but the funny thing is is like he just he didn't have that many spots i'd say maybe five or eight on each side maybe like four on one side six on the other something like that anyway today i came and i don't see those spots anymore and i just dosed that cupamine 10 minutes ago um so again this is a little temporary setup i have the sponge filter i'll probably take it out to give him some more swimming room um, i do have a heater in there with the hang on the back and a small wave maker um, I have the ammonia badge in here, which says I don't have any ammonia. I did use tap water, um, which seems to be doing fine. The guy, he, he for the first couple days, was just hiding out. Um, but now he's doing a lot better. He's swimming around. He's getting a little bit of his color back. Again, the ick is gone. He's eating. So I'm going to keep him in here. I might do the, 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 the full regimen of dosing just to be safe and keep him in here. I'm not going to do, you know, shoot me, but I'm not going to do the full four to six week quarantine. I'll probably keep him in, him in here for maybe three weeks. It's um, it's only been, sorry, it's only Monday, Tuesday. 
It's only been four days so far, but he's shown great improvement since then. Um, so, you know, give it, you know, three, two, three more weeks, and this guy will be in the 75. Again, his name is Luke. That's my dude. I like him so far. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back looking at the 75. Um, so, yeah, Luke will be my, basically my, my hamster, my guinea pig, my test dummy, because um, this is the first time I've ever quarantined, first time I've ever used copper. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully it does well. Um, I haven't done a water change yet in that tank and it's been in there for four days. The CCAM badge says I don't have any ammonia. I'm assuming it's because of the biological uh, or the uh, beneficial bacteria. I also squeezed out one of my sump socks in there to give it some more bacteria. Uh, but now that I'm dosing this cooper, uh, coopermine, I'm gonna get, uh, you know, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get about, you know, 10 gallons going. Um, so here's a question for you guys. It's a 10 gallon tank. I know with the coopermine it's gonna kill the bacteria, but then I'm gonna have to start doing, you know, every couple day water changes to keep the ammonia down but how much should I do should I do a 50% water change which would be five gallons do I just do two or three gallons so if you guys have any experience with um, you know dosing coopermine in a, in a in a quarantine tank let me know because I'm you know I'm not sure I've kind of googled it but you know there's nothing really clear answers people just say dual water change um, other than that I may be getting a coral or two coming up soon I actually reached out to Cora Lust and uh, talked to him, so I, uh, I am going to put in an order with him, uh, and I'll do an unboxing, show you guys what I got, and and, and let you you know do a review on on his packaging and and the corals, and and so that that should be a nice little video for you guys. Um, but other than that, if you guys could just answer my question, if you know, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Your boy is out. Peace.